Hello and welcome to my review of Typhus, Herald of the Plague God. This guy will set you back £25. Uh, it's a fair bit of money, but when you think that it's only £2.50 more than like a Primaris Apothecary or Chaplain, um, I think it's pretty much worth it. Uh, yes, people are on the fence. I was on the on the fence too. Um, I do think it's quite an action pose, especially when you look at the Typhus old model uh, that, that they had um, in the big, thick sort of Terminator armor. Um, not unlike the Lord of Contagion. Nothing stopping you from using him as Typhus, uh, in my opinion. Um, I would have no issues you doing that uh, if you were playing against me. But uh, as it stands, this is the model um, that we've got. Uh, he is in a very sort of action-y pose, sort of looks very excitable, quite cheery, uh, quite jovial, as much as anyone, you know, that's uh, corrupted by Nurgle would look like. Uh, I think there's a couple of things that um, set him off. I'll talk a lot about the model to start off with, then I'll do some size comparisons, and then I'll go into the rules. So one of the things, is uh, is the curved man reaper reinforces the uh, the models the models pose and um, by that I mean he's sort of lifting it up but it's also at this arc um, kind of like an S and I think that just draws you into the model more the second thing is what his left hand is doing it's just open splayed almost like he is striking a pose with your hand out like that um, you know that that's just what comes to mind from that view <laughs> he sort of looks like he is um leading his uh his army or his force um forward um so i think instead of it looking like that sort of look at it side on <laughs> but anyway i think it's a great model uh, i was on the fence um i'm i'm more convinced now now that i see it in person uh these flies this uh destroyer hive you don't need to stick them on um you can get away with not sticking them on there are some slight holes in the um vents of his uh, terminator armor um that you don't really need to modify they can just be drilled out larger if you wanted to um and you could basically just say that the the flies are in his armor they do live inside him so um that would be perfectly fine. I've just um, glued them on to his armor just for sort of continuity uh, with the model um, in the codex and uh, on the box to give you like the, the full model, the full sort of um, effect of him. But there's lots of detail going on here. Everything from this little uh, Nurgling here, clutching uh, his boils on, on, his, on his belly um, to these little fly medallions, bells, skulls, tubing, um, these incense or speaker type things um, I'm sure they're like brass vents I'm sure they are and then this out is little uh, hole out of his hand his rhino type horn uh, his man reaper is excellent uh, probably very similar to the death shroud um, terminators I haven't got them yet uh, but if and when I do get them, then uh, I'll definitely do a comparison. And then all these flies, there's a lot of the detail on these flies. And um, there are a couple of large ones like this one. And they're all sort of creepy, gribbly type things with, with fangs and claws and oh, just horrible sort of, you know, flies just to the next level. You've got some wiring and tubing there. Um, you've got uh, some iconography of this fly on his cataphracty uh, plate. And then you've got some symbols there on the other um, armor plate and then you've got these holes there which is sort of part of his venting system. Um, so yeah, a lot of detail going on and I think uh, when painted in sort of like a dark, um, you know, highlighted Death Guard color, I think, I think uh, he's really gonna shine. Um, so that being said, uh, let's do some size comparisons. So here he is uh, next to a Primaris Space Marine, just goes to show how sort of large he is. Um, he's, he is a large model and the fact that he's got his Man Reaper up really high is even better. It's on this 50 mil base, I think it is. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, it's larger than a uh, Light Lord Terminator base and he is a, a larger model. He'll stand sort of head and shoulders above your Blight Lord Terminators. Um, I'm not quite sure about the Death, death Shroud. Uh, I'll get back to you on that one. But there he is compared to a Primaris. So he, do, he is much bigger. Um, and then we'll compare him to uh, Little Pops Walker. So yeah, he towers above a Little Pops Walker. And Pops Walkers aren't really that short. 
next to the uh, Lord of Contagion. Like I said before, there's no real reason why you can't use him as a proxy. Um, he's taller than the Lord of Contagion, uh, more of a presence as well. But of course, Lord of Contagion, it's arguably a better pose, sort of trudging forward. Um, but there we go. So that's this little size comparison. Uh, he is a big model. He's his biggest um, Death Guard model I have at the moment. Um, let's go on and talk about the rules. So you'll find him in the HQ section. His movement is four inches, so that's in line with the uh, Blight Lord Terminators, the Death Shroud, um, and a Lord of Contagion. His weapon skill is two plus, ballistic skill two plus, strength is four, which is one less than a uh, Death Shroud Terminator, which is quite odd. Uh, his toughness is five. He's got six wounds, which is three times as many as the Death Shroud Terminator. Uh, he's got four attacks and a leadership of nine and a save of two plus. So obviously he's got that uh, Cataphracty armor, which gives him a normal two plus save and a four plus invulnerable. Um, but you have to half the result of the dice rolled when determining how far he advances. What's he armed with? Well, he's armed with a master crafted Man Reaper, the Destroyer Hive and Blight Grenades. Um, and you can only have one of this model in your army. The Destroyer Hive, its range is a six inch, uh, pistol 2d6, possible 12 shots there. Strength four, but it's AP three, which is incredible. Uh, the damage is one, and the weapon always hits on a five plus, even when firing Overwatch. So I would read that as it hitting on a two plus, and then five plus if there's anything else that's affecting it, such as Overwatch and modifiers. That's just the way I would read it. Um, Mastercrafted Man Reaper, that's a strength of uh, plus three, so strength seven now, AP three, and a damage three, and it's a plague weapon. So it's a plague weapon, so you can reroll those uh, wounds of a one. And then finally, Blight Grenade, it's a six inch grenade D6, strength three, uh, damage one, and again, that's a plague weapon too. Uh, his abilities, death, to the false emperor and disgustingly resilient so that means if he's targeting the um imperium units you get an extra attack in the fight phase and also if he loses a wound you roll a five plus and he doesn't lose that wound so that's good considering he's got six wins too um with his two plus and his four plus his other abilities host of the destroyer hive friendly units of pox walkers increase their strength and toughness by one uh, whilst they are within seven inches of typhus now this is pretty good because Popswalkers have a strength of three and a toughness of three. Um, so that extra one um, would be very, very useful. And it's probably one of the reasons why you take Typhus to buff your um, Walking Dead, pretty much. He also has Nurgle's Gift. All Death Guard units within seven inches, it's all, always about the seven, um, of a friendly Lord of Contagion are surrounded by a deadly aura of plague and disease. Roll a dice for each enemy unit that is within one inches of any affected friendly units at the start of your turn, and a four plus that enemy unit suffers a mortal wound. That's horrific. If you've got anything within one inches of friendly units within seven inches of him, so you've got like this seven inch kind of bubble, one inch near that friendly unit, a mortal wound, 50-50 chance of a mortal wound. That's horrific. And that's the same for the Lord of Contagion, same, same rule. Teleport strike. During deployment, you can set him up in a teleportarium chamber instead of placing him on the battlefield. Uh, at the end of the movement phase, he can uh, teleport uh, into the battle anywhere that is more than nine inches away from enemy models. Um, I don't know if you'd want to do that just because he hasn't got anything that he hasn't got any sort of ranged weapon that are, that is over nine inches, and he'll struggle to move at someone and charge them because of that big heavy armor and his movement of four inches. He's also a psyker. Uh, he can attempt to manifest two psychic powers in each friendly psychic phase and attempt to deny one psychic power in each enemy psychic phase. He knows smite and two psychic powers from the contagion discipline. So again, his usefulness as a psyker is pretty decent considering uh, a normal Lord of Contagion um, isn't. So bear that in mind too. Okay, um, so why would you take him over a Lord of Contagion? Well, for two more power points, I think that I think he's worth it. His stat line is exactly the same, but the Lord of Contagion only has a Plague Reaper um, as standard, so he, he can he can swap that. Plus, he actually has a, uh, a ranged weapon, you know, the Destroyer Hive. His Man Reaper is uh, Master Crafted. He's also got uh, the Blight Grenades as well. Um, he's got the two psychic powers, he's got the host of the destroyer uh, hive, so that buffs all his 
pots walkers. So I think for the extra two um, power points, it's worth it, especially so if you've got um, pots walkers. It will really buff uh, buff your army. And that's all I've really got to say about Typhus. Uh, I think he's a great model. He's really grown on me. Um, I wasn't too sure when I first saw the pictures, um, but yeah, you can choose to you know have the flies off if you really wish i never had a death guard army before this edition and furthermore this is the first codex that they've had um specifically uh for for death guard so because i never had a death guard army i wasn't really you know i never owned the previous typhus model um i do think the forge world one is very decent too um but you are going to be paying uh, a little bit more for that that typhus model is quite clearly you know before all of the um mutations and things like that for the legion so what do you guys think of the model i know there's quite a polarizing uh, view of of the model but the rules seem quite decent and uh i'm sure it'd be very useful in a game thank you ever so much for joining me today thank you for watching the emperor protects